outbreak we've been covering this week, the direct hit twister outbreak in Oklahoma. Tonight at ABC News exclusive cell phone video of what happened in one elementary school. By the way, President Obama will visit Oklahoma this weekend. And ABC's David Muir leads our coverage once again tonight with that exclusive. David. Diane, good evening. And for the first time tonight, we hear, we see the moment that tornado hit one of those two elementary schools. In this case, Briarwood Elementary. The National Weather Service telling us today winds were more than 200 miles per hour at that point. And as you're about to see, as that twister hovered over the school, it was pitch black and terrifying inside. This is the moment the monstrous tornado hit Briarwood Elementary. For the first time, we see what students saw huddled in that bathroom, complete darkness. And this is what they heard. As the pressure from that tornado took hold of that school and that bathroom, it felt the air pushing down on Their teacher, Robin Dietz, promising it would end. her daughter Mari in fourth, and suddenly, right there in front of her, Sam appears. Then the moment, Dad arrives. Sam, there's Daddy! She tells him she hasn't found their daughter, and he finds her alive. The parking lot, once filled with teachers and parents' cars right there on the right, empty. And late today, for the first time, authorities allowing us to bring Mrs. Dietzing back to that school. As we walk toward it, the first thing we notice, the mangled playground. Oh, that's our playground. This is the playground here. This is the playground. Tears from the teacher could not believe what she was seeing. The first grade classroom, back in the corner there, where her son Sam's teacher was lying on top of him and the other children to keep them safe. Incredible to think that Robin's son Sam crawled out of that rubble along with all those first graders. And look at this, right here in the middle of the school, a car landing from the parking lot. Then beyond that car, she takes me underneath the twisted metal, down the hallways, all that's left of the school, and among the only wall standing, that brick wall to the bathroom, where her class was saved. This is where we walked down, and I was right here. Federal authorities were here today, touring the damage, and again, the question surrounding those safe rooms and why there were not any in either of those two schools. We learned that it can cost up to $300 a square foot, up to a million dollars or more to build the safe rooms, but Diane, a lot of parents here believe you can't put a price tag on safety. That conversation has begun. And one more discovery I just wanted to show you, Diane, from inside that school. Mrs. Dedzik, who found her own safe room, that bathroom, we found this in her classroom today. Her students had made this for her because they were going on to middle school. They had just three days left. She said she'll cherish this photo. We're going to get it back to her after the broadcast tonight. Oh, David, so many stories, but that was truly stunning tonight. Thank you, and our thanks to her as well. Thank you so much. And